Hey everyone, welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. We're working on the World Quilt. This is by you, our many fans of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop has sent in a nine and a half by nine and a half inch block that represents you, your favorite block, whatever, whatever makes you happy. And we have incorporated into our very first World Quilt. This is between uh, 2017 and 2018, all these blocks were sent in. There were 64 of them. And uh, I made this beautiful quilt that measures about 108 by 80. And uh, yeah, we're working on it. So we've done two rows already. And in each square, I've alternated between a star and a heart. Well, I really got to thinking about it. It's beautiful, beautiful works of art that we have going on here. And uh, I just didn't want to do an edge to edge all through it. You know, I, to me, each one kind of needed to stand out on its own. And I chose really thick batting extra thick batting to make everything kind of pop up as it was. And in between the white sashing here, I did a leaf stitch out. Just, uh, you know, wherever we live, there's leaves that are falling. We're all kind of connected. I don't know, it was a pretty, it was a pretty one. It kind of went with everything. And then with the star and the heart, a big one alternating in each one, it seems to really, uh, it's really coming together. So I've done uh, four rows of the stitch outs in the centers and I've got three more rows to go. And uh, we're just gonna keep working on the, uh, the sashing in between here. So let Walt continue. There we go, just pop the threads up to the side. And we'll talk about some of these blocks. Uh, right here, we've got between uh, Renee and Diane. It's stitching out in between. And what I did is I, to frame each one, I put a gray two and a half by nine and a half sashing on the bottom. And then a two and a half by 11 and a half, of course, uh, on, onto the side of each one. So it kind of gave it like a little window sort of frame sort of thing, right? And to just to and to, to, so I remember who made each block. I stitched out on my embroidery machine their name and where they're from, and that's it. And attached it. So, so everybody's got their own little showcase, and I love it. Absolutely love it. Beautiful, beautiful pieces of art. So this one's got a star. This one has a heart down here for Patsy from Madison, Mississippi. Uh, she, there's a big cotton, she's got a big star in it. And then Kathy from Beautifully, Ontario, got a nice big heart around her purple bag that she made. And a nice big heart and Angie's from Bristol. Her little, cute little, um, I don't know, I guess a, a batik four patch. That's yeah, very lovely, I love the colors. And it brings everybody together when you think about it. You know, uh, it's, it's just nice to see everybody's art and hopefully I put it in together in a, in a way that helps everybody you know I see I keep saying that word <laughs> um, just come together and feel part of the family you know what I mean let's see there we go again oh, I have to stop that I love it I love it and I can't wait for it to hang in the quilt shop here and they don't want to quilt it too much. I want everybody to stand out. So I may even come back around and just do a little um, stitch around the name to make them pop up. Now that I got some little bit of dimension in the block itself, I want to be able to put a little bit of dimension in the, the name. So, or maybe I'll just come, come around and um, stitch in the ditch around each square. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, Six more to go for the rest along here. <clears throat> and I did a gray on the side and a black on that side. Like it's got black on the bottom and the side and a gray on this side and the top. Just to kind of help um, frame it up a bit, a bit di differently without having to be the same colors uh, on the bottom. Like I just didn't want gray and gray together. Okay, so we'll move this over here. And Walt's going to go find its little spot and then continue to stitch that beautiful leaf pattern all the way down. And we got Pat with her cute little Clive and a pumpkin here. <laughs> it's got a nice big heart all the way around it. 
And then we got Claudette, she's down here, a nice big star in her beautiful block. Yeah, I chose the thick batting to make all those pop out because you guys are like the, you know, my lovey family and the stars that help, you know, help us, you know, you know. <laughs> it looks pretty. I thought this nice little leaf pattern would be very, very nice. There's lots of little um, leafy prints in this, this whole quilt between some of the material used. So it looks lovely. Very happy. Very happy. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Big hugs. And if you would like to participate in the next one, sorry. <coughs> Still getting better around here. <coughs> uh, you can send your block to um, the www.wesewit.ca. There's our website, and you can find our address there. We are located in Hillsburg, Ontario, Canada. And we look forward to your block. Contribute to Quilt 2. I just need to get a drink one second here. <coughs> Sorry about that. We are getting better. <laughs> Slowly but surely. <laughs> Seemed like everybody had some sort of a flu bug going on this year for between Christmas and New Year's. But this is our first show for 2019 and we're very excited to start it off with honoring all of the fans. So thank you. Thank you again very, very much. Love your work. You've inspired me far more than you even realize. You really have. Love it. Of course, there's another row or two that have already been rolled up on the quilt here, so you, you don't get to see them. But I, when it's all complete, I will post great detail photos on our Facebook Mafia page. Um, if you're interested in joining, you just have to answer three very simple questions. And we are a very encouraging group of people and willing to help and teach and learn and learn from you all in the process. That's what we, that's what we do. All right, back up here. And now it's going to stitch between Pat and Diane from Somerset, England, her beautiful friendship block with all the UK fabric, the Union Jack and the double decker bus and the taxis. Very nice. Beautiful. I love looking at it. I can't wait for it to hang up here. I didn't want to do it too, too big, then I wouldn't be able to handle it. So, and I didn't want it too heavy as well. Especially now that I put the, the extra thick batting in there, so. But I want things to pop up. I want things to pop up. I want it to be depth and dimension. I want everybody's block to be superstar. Love it, love it, love it. Very creative. Yeah, we got Wanda's up here, Karina, Sonia, uh, Caroline, uh, Aubrey, uh, Audrey, sorry, <clears throat> Margaret, Jerry Lynn, Kayrita. Those are all the ones that are just up on here. You can just not barely, barely just see. And then we've got, um, you saw Patsy, and then we got Joyce, Sandy, Janice, Vicki, Cynthia. Karen, Heather, Sharon, Amy, and then it's Norelle, Norella, Norelli, uh, Wanda, Judy, Grace, Bella, Heli, Cindy, Rebecca, Faith, Becky, Marilyn, Barb, Allison, Kelly, Robin, Carol, Terry, and the quilt shop. And of course, I'll, I'll, I'll do something on here, like maybe, I don't know, I figured it out. Or maybe I'll just save it for the back. I could stitch it out on, on via wall, right? I could put a little mom and pop quilt shop, a little text, that sort of thing. And of course, there's a row that I've, I, I didn't mention, but <laughs> maybe we, we can when this is all done. I don't want to forget anybody. There's Heather's and Sammy's and Chris and Lois 
and Gwenny and Corrine and Marie and Elizabeth and of course we got Diane and then there was Renee and Nancy was over here it's beautiful love the work you guys are so talented okay we got four more to go after this And then I would like to read off the top row. I don't want to leave anybody out. I have to be patient. Okay. Two, two. Hold those threads. Yeah, we'll just tuck them up there. Watch them. <clears throat> yes. Can't wait for it to come off. I'm not sure what color I'm going to do the binding in, though. Maybe I'll do it opposite. Where I've got black, I'll put gray, and where I've got gray, I'll put black sort of thing. Maybe I'll do it that way. Kind of stand out a little bit. I want to pick something that's kind of bright. You know, I've got this beautiful, um, it's got a textured leaf to it. It's, um, I'd say between tan and browns. Uh, I don't, I just liked it. I thought it'd be nice, it'd be pretty. I didn't want to have a plain white. I put lots of plain whites on the past Christmas quilt, so we just did. I really wanted to use something that I had in my stash uh, and in the quilt shop here to, to be able to do this beautiful quilt. Love it. So very pretty. And I've had little little ones to trim up, little threads. I, I did it, I straight stitch across and then another straight stitch across. And then as I was putting it together and flipping and flopping it, I noticed I was getting a little bit of frayed edges, even though I had it um, uh, ironed to some stabilizer. So I went and did a little zigzag and then I just came along and just trimmed all the little furry bits off. So. That was a lot to do. There's still a couple of free bits up here. <laughs> but it looks so pretty. I'm truly honored and blessed. Thank you. Cute little teapot. <laughs> That's Heather's beautiful block. And Vicky's beautiful block here. Look at that beautiful fabric. Isn't that lovely? Love it. And hopefully everybody likes what I've been doing with it. You know, all your hard work and making something beautiful for our beautiful quilt shop. And everybody who comes into the quilt shop will see it. All right, three more. We had a good time on the live stream on the weekend. Uh, that was our last Sunday one. The ones from here on forward are Saturdays at 1 p.m. Eastern. And we can't wait to see you guys there. Hopefully, we can start hanging out on Saturdays. And I'm still working on my murder mystery block of the month for 2018. Um, I've got July almost done, so I'll post pictures. I'll post pictures. I'll do it on the Facebook group and the Mafia group. Yeah, I think that was just enough space in between each one, just to kind of showcase them, give them a little frame. You know, I may even come down here, do a stitch, like I said, stitch in the ditch, maybe even just down here. Uh, there and then around the names or I may just come in there around and do each block or I'll do here and right around each block. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Cute. Very, very cute. It's working on it. Walt's working on it. 
And then we got Marie's over here, and Elizabeth. And then we got Sammy's down here. Beautiful work, absolutely beautiful work. I'll hold this up so everybody can really take a good look. Absolutely beautiful. Here too, I don't want these guys to get missed. Look at that beautiful cardinal. You see that? that beautiful cardinal. Beautiful leaves. <laughs> the cat sitting on the sewing machine, it's very much like Clive. <laughs> That's very, that's very intricate. That's very tiny. Those are tiny squares on there for Cindy. That's, that's for her block. It's beautiful. Beautiful colors. Love it. Bella's cute little house. <laughs> beautiful pieces. <laughs> Only two more. And hopefully everybody's looking forward to Munchkin's Block of the Month. Uh, I know we are here. And we're hoping to see lots of people participating. And if and we hope we hope uh, you know that you like what he's got going on. Different perspective. And I think sometimes you need that. Can't always be the same. And you need sometimes different different perspective on things. So pretty. And then here is Corrine's cute little cat. She stitched the eyes and the whiskers and the nose and everything. And then it's got this beautiful heart going all the way around it. Looks lovely. And then Chris got a bunch. It's like the, it's an optical illusion sort of thing. It's like boxed squares. They're like they're jumping off the page, but each in each of the main top of the boxes looks like is a it's like a little I spy piece of fabric. There's chickens and crayons and you know um, kitty cats, butterflies. Beautiful. I can't wait to start building out the second one. Now I'll put the date down here when we started this, when it started coming in. It actually all started on a live stream one day and, uh, and it just kind of went from there. We were talking about where we're from and you know, what's, what's our favorite block and stuff and then that's, that's how it all came about. And it's amazing that this is what has come about of a little conversation on a live stream. <laughs> All right, almost there. Let me just got one more to go. And then I'll roll it a little bit so maybe you can see a little bit more of the details of the blocks and I can read off the very top row. Hope everybody had a great New Year's and you celebrated wisely. <laughs> I highly doubt we even made it to midnight. <laughs> well, not me anyways. Pop's kind of used to that. I'm not. I go to bed early. But I'm up early. Get up with the chickens. All right, one more little flower or leaf to finish up. Perfect. And one more row. And then we got Corrine's block here we were talking about and Gwenny's. Gwenny Simpson. She's from Alberta. I grew up in Alberta. There we go. Last one stitching out. Well, for this part anyways. And then I can show you. <laughs> Exciting. Mm 
<laughs> Sounds like Bobbin's getting low too. Okay, get this out of the way. I'll clamp this side since it's working all the way over there. Very, very nice. I trim up some of these. There. Mm -hmm. Oh, there goes Mr. Magoo. for the thread bag. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, it's gonna take me a little bit to finish off, but uh, I will be posting pictures for sure. Beautiful. Paisley, Florida. That's Lois. There we go. Perfect. And I like how she put a little, little, made the little map and then put a little dot on the map of where it is. I think it's awesome. Team with one of our Newfoundland buddies, Wanda. She put where she is on her little map too. Her island of Newfoundland. Awesome! Okay, do now. Let's unclamp the side. And then I'll roll it a little bit. I'm gonna scoot the chair. I've been trying to bag up the, the quilts all color coordinated wise and season wise. <laughs> all right, there we go. So there we can see. Oops. Next. Oops. Do, do, do. Where are we going here? Do. Lock it. Okay. And then we have, uh, okay, there here, there was Audrey, Caroline, Sonia, Karina, Wanda, Kathleen, Margaret, Jerry Lynn, Kay Rita, and then there's Angie, Kathy, oops, oh, 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 that's right. I thought there was a little, there we go. And then there's Diane, and Liz, and Sandra, and June, and Rita. And I still have your little bows. I'm gonna put on those, so not to worry, I will. And then Claire, and Annie. There we go. Thanks everybody for participating in the very first world quilt of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop. <laughs> and Mr. Clive says, hello. And Happy New Year, and hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day. Okay, take care. Bye, everybody. <laughs>